democracy told me not about it. Democracy had nothing in existence. If it had even existence, then it been done some uh, 150 years ago. Democra democracy or demos, uh, peop the people, and can see vo voice, voice of the people, is just one notion. What it means more is control of the people. Demos, cuts. That be more likely actually. And in this time, in this age, where nobody think anymore for themselves and just do what the media want them to do. What make democracy? Nothing. It been actually uh, nothing. That's what it be. Democracy is a cute idea, a beautiful story. But in reality, it will always be that. Because look to all, all what the job of a politician be. We look quickly and with open eyes to what a politician. They go to uh, businesses and they also come themselves also at businesses. So they are also provide uh, for their business some in in uh, They've been all rich, so they belong to the rich class. We all know that they're mean classes. In general, rich people don't give about poor people. So they also protect the business of the rich man and the profit of the rich man. It's my personal belief that nobody with more than if you want democracy to work, nobody that more with than um, 10,000 dollars on the bank or euros on the bank have to go to uh, court, have to go to um, become president in one true democracy. Because it don't work out. I find it a cute story. But not the least. Just what it mean. Spectacular in combination with big brother business. What's want to have always in hand in this. And therefore in this system the businesses have more um, actually um, in fruit in the ants gold than the people what they make actually so also a little bit more of a not democracy but hypocrisy because for example in Canada uh, most uh, people in Canada have been against the uh, sea hunt. But the government did not listen to them. They listen to brick bo Big Brother business. Also, capitalism in combination with uh, the democracy doesn't work as well. Because they also go to lobbying, lobbying. That's what the politicians all do. They go to lobbying and go to business and say, uh, "I, you want to uh, be a part of um, me, uh, subsidize, and in, in return, I promote you and stand for your standpoints." Um, that's also one of the reasons what I now shall explain. Why big brother business? There have been actually the true monsters. The politicians forget them. 
All politicians mean just walking billboards for some business. They lie and deceive and manipulate because they please their masters. And that being the big businesses, that being uh, all the big corporate industries that want to sell you stuff you don't need, but they want that you get it. For example, you don't need the biggest TV. You also don't need the newest iPads. Also, you don't need the biggest keyboards or the most precious new 10 T's. Or you also don't need the most expensive um, better room. I just say, be happy with what you have. The, oh, that consumer culture, that is in many ways obscure. If you use it, yes, but if you have it, buy because you want it, but you don't use it, then it makes actually no sense. There's also one of the, of the things, capitalism and philippism be practically in many ways the same. Only capitalism of the biggest uh, of the bigger industries as kings and queens and the alpha position or the lord's position or uh, yes you get it better. The uh, big businesses bosses like the uh, ring ring bro the uh, all the rich, all the rich families they have been actually the kings and queens now of this age instead of the kings and queens just just uh, a replacement of my of power and always these people always uh, protect their own family members and put their own family members in higher positions just like the kings and queens so maybe it is not the system but it's the people that have to change in their attitudes it is the humans that have to change in their attitudes because it don't matter which kind of system so it seems to me they are living at least it is all on the people. Voting seems to be a good idea, but voting and democracy, one of the parts of democracy, um, works only on a small basis. If you have a large population with unenlightened folks that only give about themselves and don't think a little bit further than the nose, you can easily See, the democracy don't work. There's one of the reasons, or what I have now say. I have many other reasons, if you want, I can make another video about this. Why I don't vote, and why I believe it is meaningless, and you can do far more. If you put the politics game uh, away all the lying politicians that nothing come to do actually something to say a lot of stuff but in the end there are all uh, most likely 99% of the stuff where you have vote I want to have them on the place and they don't uh, do they do what their uh, corporate uh, masters uh, the big businesses and they're on uh, the things that can actually give money for them and that's what they're doing. 
Uh, that's what that's what are uh, actually most important for them. That's what I do. There are also protect the roll range quests. And there's also one of most of the time the things there are uh, people that are uh, half in ovens um, do. There are uh, knights and there are um, other people, there are uh, altricures. The cor the cork rolls. I just uh, just uh, the names of the offense. In the um, you know, attributes, you get the point. I hope so. The president is just a puppet. In the end land, actually, maybe some circle so say only begin. Capitalism seems to be a good idea, just like uh, democracy. But humans are bound to be ready for it. And in particular, in combination with capitalism, it is actually the same to my view as vandalism. As vandalism. Or King the Queen. You can disagree with me on the topic, but this this is just how I see it. <laughs> and uh, sit. There's no time. Uh, you can see what you what I do as so well. All the times sit after uh, take a cup of tea. And look what uh, look to the politicians and see that there actually nothing uh, changes. The whole uh, thing. Only the only thing that's changed is that the rich get uh, richer, the animals get more abused, and the uh, poor get poorer or stay the same. It is a funny pop, puppy game. Also, one Albert Einstein is also something. The definition of insanity is doing something over and over again and expecting a different result. The people of this time be not so much different than the people of the past. As last, they never change. In human intelligence over the couple of hundreds of years. You are being only more, maybe, more constant with um, reading on paper and in this time with the internet um, saving stuff. We are thinking that, but human brain is nothing better becoming. Maybe it becomes more last intelligence. You can also, if you look uh, that the Neanderthal, the Neanderthalers, oh, actually, in some studies, uh, have shown that they're mainly live on plant-based and some groups actually 100% live on plant-based and you can say they're being vegan and that's one re quite research or recent uh, research actually because now the, the days they can uh, look in the black of the teeth of the uh, old uh, hominin and you can see what they have eaten. Back in the time when they believed that the people of the past were not were uh, most like most hunters 
and you were the collectors and this kind of things. There'd been actually also stuff. In that time there have not to, not to the um, research that we now have. Not to the complex computers that can analyze it. The plaque on the T's of the Neanderthalers and all the other groups. And we see that I mean, think also a little bit about this. Humans be not capable of digesting raw meat. Before fire, before this kind of stuff, humans have uh, eat plants. Most time of our evolution, human sapiens, homo sapiens, they are eat plants, fruits, we be fruitivores. Don't listen to the misinformation of the meat, dairy and egg industry. How so desperate they try to convince you to eat animal corpses and the things that come out of animals. There been the corporate lying freaks. And for the people that then say, you just can call them freaks, I can call them what I want. That's my right. According to the Human Rights Law, Article 10, I have the right to criticize anybody. This law protects your freedom of speech, even if it being against popular opinions. Of course, there being uh, regulations of this. You don't get slander. But you, if you can give some reasons why you think that. As you don't do. Uh, Take out your down, then come pretty easy. I'll say what you want. But have your reasons. And I have no reason for any of this. And I don't be afraid for anybody. I've been down a long ago from inside. And I'm being completely in some stuff. And actually, I just say, make humans fake carnivores because all true carnivores and omnivores can digest animals, uncook it, unspice it. And I like the way it smells. In contrary, with uh, humans, if you see roadkill, thank you. Mmm, that smells delicious. Or thank you, that's gross. I think you think the last. I think not that you think, oh, like a delicious. That's normal. That's actually normal that you think that it be not. Uh, Something delicious. No, of course, addicts also uh, called it carnists. Of course, they lie. This is what addicts do. If you ever want to see one drug addict that um, is logical and aware about his addiction, that admits that he have a problem. Now most addicts they are lying and say, no, I have no problem. And they give you sometimes also some fake study. And if you then read between the lines, you see, oh, yeah, it is on small doses and he used a lot of stuff <laughs> or something like that. Oh, 
but you can also t do um, other things. Somebody say a little bit of me might not kill. A little bit of uh, cocaine make you also not die. Some smoking sometimes a cigarette that gives you most likely also not lung cancer, but it is not healthy. In contrary with the true omnivores like bears, I not get heart attacks or strokes from eating animal corpses. Humans get always heart attacks and strokes from animal corpses and things that come out of animals. It's just how it be. You don't have to be an Einstein to figure out this conclusion. Go vegan. And stop making ex extremely insane excuses for things that you also don't want the dare do to you. Stop being a psychopath in the eyes of pigs, cat in, a, in the eyes of pigs and turkeys and cows and horses and other other animals. Their bodies do not belong to humans. Just like the bodies of a woman don't uh, be there for men to be abused. Just like uh, blacks be not on this planet for the service of the white man. Just like natives, natives Americas be not so not for the service of the white man. Just like all groups of beings being there for their own service. For their own needs, for their own reasons. Go vegan. What's the excuse for casting the least amount of harm possible on this planet? Stop being a hypocrite. 